This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 10 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I will be showing you how to set up a boot camp partition on your Mac. This will cover any Intel Mac basically ever made, although I'll be focusing mostly on 32-bit EFI and 64-bit EFI Macs with 64-bit processors, but of course this will also work with a 32-bit processor. Anyway, I will be showing you the proper way to do this and the easiest way to do this and quickly explaining to you the other way you can do it, but I would not recommend doing it. First, we'll explain the way you can do it really briefly. You can just open up Disk Utility, make a partition on whatever drive you want, and set it as FAT32. And then you can go restart the Mac and boot into the Windows DVD or setup drive through the boot menus. And then set it up off of that partition. The thing is, if you do this route, it's a little more challenging to do it this way. And this way is actually a lot simpler if you know what you're doing. Let's say we want to install Windows 10 on a older Mac. All the Macs I own only officially support Windows 7 32-bit according to Apple. But, in fact, any Mac with a 64-bit processor can run any 64-bit Windows. And because of this, we can install any 64-bit Windows we want to, but there is one catch. We are going to first need to start up Boot Camp Assistant. We first go to Spotlight, and we type in Boot Camp. Should be the first thing that shows up. We hit Enter, and we bring up Boot Camp Assistant. Now, here's where the catch is. If your computer supports Windows 8, for instance, you can use a Windows 8 disk to use this. But let's say you want to run Windows 10, or you're on another Mac like I am that only supports Windows 7. See, Boot Camp Assistant only works with the OS that is supported by Apple. You have to have that installation media in the Mac before it will allow you to make your boot camp partition. So, you have to have a Windows 7 disk if you're like me and have two Macs that only support Windows 7 officially. You can get a Windows 7 disk anywhere and it can be any Windows 7 disk. It doesn't matter if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. And you can get it from anywhere. ISOs are very plentiful online, just look one up and download it. We only need the disk to get Boot Camp Assistant to work. So when we hit continue, we'll have these two options right here. Um, you'll want to download the latest uh, Windows support software, which in my case would be Boot Camp 4 drivers and software and it will save it onto a flash drive, which I have already done. You'll still need Boot Camp 4 files, because even though we will be installing Boot Camp 6 in a later video, you want to have Boot Camp 4 or 5, depending on whether your Mac supports Windows 7 or Windows 8. You want to have those files, because Boot Camp 6 doesn't have all the drivers you'll need and Boot Camp 4 and 5 should. Anyway, you'll want to choose this and let the installer download the files and then save it onto your flash drive. I'm not going to do this though because I already have done that. Then you only have to select Install or Remove Windows 7 and if you have a Mac that supports Windows 8 it should say 8 here. But still, it it's the same either way. We click continue. We select the partition we want to put our Windows install on. I want to select my SSHD. 
I'll um, create a second partition for it and hit continue. Now the installer will say disk cannot be found because I haven't put my disk in. I want to show you what will happen with an unsupported disk first. So we will eject my drive and put in a Windows 8.1 Pro disk that I have burned. Wait for it to spin up. And there's the disk. So we hit continue and let's see what happens. Windows 8 is not supported on this Mac. If you put in a Windows 10 disk too, it will still say Windows 8 is not supported. So how do we continue? Like I said earlier, you need a Windows 7 install disk. And also like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what version it is, 64-bit, 32-bit, it doesn't matter if it's Ultimate, Pro, Home Premium, as long as it's a Windows 7 disk and it can read that it is, it will let you make the second partition. So we will eject the Windows 8 disk. And I have an official Windows 7 disk. It's 64-bit to show you. And since I'm installing this on a Mac Pro 2,1, Apple only officially supported 32-bit Windows 7. But it's definitely 64-bit. This is a real disk. We let the drive go back in. Let it spin back up. And there's that disk. We hit continue. And now it lets us continue. Now to make this simple, I am just going to divide my partition equally which will half and half the two installs. My OS X will get one terabyte and my Windows will get one terabyte. Then after all this we just click install. It will mention about the USB drive if you haven't selected earlier to put the files onto a flash drive but since I have I just click continue. And the computer will now start partitioning the disk. Once the assistant finishes partitioning the disk, the system will reboot into boot camp mode and the system will basically boot like a PC, which I'll be showing you in a second. It will try to boot off the Windows disk and we'll have to stop it first. The system restarts and this is where we want to eject the drive and put in our own disk. The easiest way to do this in my opinion is to go into the boot menu. Otherwise the system will try to boot like a PC and boot off your Windows 7 disk. And since we want to do a fresh install of Windows 10 or 8 if you want to do 8 we need to stop it from booting into Windows 7. Once we're in this menu, we'll just want to hold down the eject button and eject the drive. In this case, my Mac likes to eject both. I don't really know why. And then we'll want to put... <laughs> and then we'll want to put our disk in uh, so I have to re-eject the drive. I've got a Windows 10 64-bit disk here. So we'll eject the drive again. Let that go back in by itself. And then it will start spinning up. Now, in the case of 64-bit EFI Max. the only thing you have to do now is boot into the Windows disk. But on 32-bit EFI Max, you're going to have a problem installing 
64-bit windows. And I'll be covering what happens and how to fix it in the next video, episode 11 of my Mac Pro series. Anyway, thanks for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.